to today's special maths class. Now, let's have a look then. So, this week's theme, who can remind me, what is this week's theme? Very good, everybody, it's Easter, of course. And just like every other week, we have a special number which we are working on this week. Who can remember the special number? Very good, everybody. It's number four, yes, because last week was number three. So this week is going to be number four. Very good. So to start with, let's practice counting. Who can help me count all of the yellow Easter eggs? Let's have a look. One, two, three, four. There are four yellow Easter eggs. One, two, three, four. Very good. Now, let's count the pink Easter eggs. Count with me. One, two, three, four. There are five pink Easter eggs. One, two, three, four, five. Now, lastly, let's count the blue Easter eggs. Count with me. One, two, three, and four. So that's one, two, three, four. Four blue Easter eggs. Very good, everybody. Now, I also have some chocolate mini eggs. Can you help me count them? One, two, three, four. Yes, I've got four chocolate Easter eggs. Now, who can help me count my sticks? One, two, three, and four. And what colour are these sticks? Very good, everybody. They are red, of course. And we also have one, two, three, four. What colour are these? Very good. Purple and yellow. Yes, four purple and yellow as well. Now let's practice writing the number four. Now go and get a pencil and a piece of paper so you can practice with me. So here's an example of what the four should look like. So it's a, it's a straight line and then it goes across to the right and then it goes straight down in the middle, isn't it? It's a, this first part is like an L, yes. So let's practice writing it together. So we go straight down across and then we leave the page and then go straight down the middle. So straight down across, leave the page and go down the middle. Very good, I'm sure you're doing a great job. Let's do two more. <clears throat> straight down across and then straight down the middle straight down, across, and then straight down the middle. Very good, everybody. Now, I wanted to also share some facts, some interesting facts about the number four. So, I'm going to draw a square. Can you all see my square? A square has equal sides. Let's count how many sides the square has. One, two, three, four. Very good, everybody. A square has four sides. What about a rectangle? Here, 
we have a rectangle which has two equal sides and then equal long sides and then two equal short sides. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Very good everybody. So the rectangle and the square have, they are four sided shapes. Now there's one more four sided shape I'm going to draw for you today, which is a kite. Now who likes flying kites? I do, it's so much fun, isn't it? Now let's have a look. So a kite has two shorter sides at the top and then it has two longer sides at the bottom. So the two longer sides at the bottom are equal and the two longer sides at the top are equal. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. So the kite as well has the four sided shape. There we go. So this has been a class all about the number four. How interesting was that? I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Bye.